In late December 2023, we were so excited to see the first alpha version of Midjourney V6. We made some incredible images, played with text creation, and loved the advanced capabilities in prompt understanding, more detailed image composition, and overall image coherence. Then, we had to wait for a few needed version 5.2 features such as in-painting, pan, and zoom. And, being accustomed to tech coming at fast, internet speeds, the wait seemed to take forever. Then, near 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, on the 24th of January, it happened. Pan, Zoom, and InPainting were released for version 6 Alpha. And, yes, I made this digital clock image with Midjourney V6. Let's look at what all the fuss is about. Here are the features we had in version 6 Alpha before the new release, as shown in this snapshot, for an image created on the 17th of January. With the 24th of January update, we now have Vary Region, Midjourney's method of InPainting, two button click forms of zoom out, and a custom zoom the make square feature, and four new pan buttons, left, right, up, and down. All of the functions, except pan will work the same as in version 5.2. In version 5.2, pan increased the size and pixels of the image as the canvas expanded. In version 6, pan will keep the same image resolution, but the frame will be simply extended left, right, up, or down as you direct. This should give you a pan that is more predictable, especially when doing portrait or up and down pans. It is expected that pan will keep image coherency with the original prompt and should not randomly introduce new subjects or characters along the way. Let's try a pan example using a comic book panel of a fight scene between Batman and the Joker. Here is the original image and I'll request a pan to the left. Here is the result. Just the horizontal length has been expanded to the left and the image is still coherent. Next, I'll expand the image to the right. Now I have a nice sized, more panoramic view of the scene with good image coherence and no extraneous characters in the scene. The new pan is also great for extending body shots of human subjects. Here I have a simple portrait of a woman in New York City wearing a leather jacket. I pan down the image, leaving the prompt the same to extend the body shot. Here is the image I selected from the group of four, and it turned out nicely. Appearing to be a cooler day, and potentially a rainy day, I decided to give her a raincoat with the in-painting feature. With the very region function I lasso up the region where I want the coat to appear. Change the prompt to raincoat, and initiate the in-painting. Here is the result I chose, it seems very nice as well. Midjourney V6 Alpha still struggles at times with properly formed or properly sized hands and feet. I believe the in-painting can really help in these situations and should do better than Photoshop generative AI. I'm closing with some pan and zoom results I achieved with the updated features. Here is the original image for an ocean shore pan I executed. And here are the panned results. Here is the original image of a witch in an enchanted forest targeted for the zoom out feature. And here are the zoom out results. Thanks for reviewing this Midjourney version 6 update with me. Again, You'll get all the prompts for the images used in this video in a free document prepared for you. Please like the video, as it's helping me bring you and others more content. Thanks again for your support. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Bye bye.